Hey, boss, I am so sorry. The train was running behind schedule and I was... You are ten minutes late, Peyton. What, you sitting there doing your makeup all morning? Right now I have to write you up. No, please, it's my first time being late. No exceptions. And also, those designs had better be good. You know how important this client is that's coming tomorrow. Hey, Roy, I'm so sorry I'm late. Hey, don't sweat it. Can you believe that game last night? Uh, no, the LeBron was unbelievable. Thank you again for the invite. <laughs> hey, no worries. Perks of being in the boys club, huh? Hey, -oh. Ooh. <laughs> hey do you want to grab a cup of coffee? Yes. Oh, man. Do it. Can you believe their defense? <sighs> I can't believe he was so hard on your case and said nothing to Connor. The perks of being in the boys club. Yeah, tell me about it. Are these your designs? Wow, they're amazing. Really? Thanks. I'm trying to get that new senior designer promotion that just opened up. So I worked extra hard on these. Well, everyone knows you're the most qualified designer on the team. Oh! oh nice shot. <laughs> yeah, I got to take us to the next game, too. You in? Oh, I am down! <laughs> hey, boss. Here are the designs that you asked for. What is this? This is not what I asked for at all. Oh, well, I just thought I'd add some personal touches. I think the client will really like them. What is with you women? Your constant need to change things, huh? <sighs> Never mind. Connor, let's see what you get. Oh, uh, actually, I never got a chance to finish my designs. This is all I have. I mean, after the game, I was just so hungover and then just, <laughs> all right, it's all right. You know, after that 30 acre bummer. Whoa, I was out. <laughs> <laughs> just finish it tomorrow, before the client comes in. What are you waiting for? You're dismissed. Tomorrow, it's a very important day. Our new client flies in, and if he likes our designs, it could be the biggest deal in our history. We should do another boys night to celebrate when he says yes. Oh yeah, I already got it planned out. <laughs> no, anyway, the new senior design position opened up. That means I have to promote one of you. So, I decided to go with the most hardworking, the most talented, and the most reliable person on our team. That person is Connor, congratulations, huh? <laughs> wow, thank you so much. I know I'm new here, but I promise I won't let you down. I know you won't. Okay, let's get back to work. Big day tomorrow. <clears throat> Excuse me, sir, but Connor, I've been here twice as long as him, and I've worked three times as hard. How are you going to choose him over me? Okay. You are doing an awful lot of talking back today, Peyton. Are you PMSing? I just, I just like to know what he has that I don't. Let's just say, some jobs require a suit, not a skirt. So that's what this is about? You gave him a promotion because he's a man? I would be very careful if I were you. Unless you want to get written up again, or even worse, fired. You know what? You don't have to fire me. Because I quit. 
I'm going to take my designs and I'm going to start my own company. <laughs> you, a woman. You're just going to come crawling back to me when your business fails. We'll see about that. <laughs> Peyton ends up quitting her job as Roy laughs on at her. The next day, Connor brings in his designs and shows them to Roy. They're nowhere near as good as Peyton's. Roy begins to really stress out. So he decides to ask some of the other employees for help. Tired of the way Roy treated all the women around the office, they all decide to quit. Roy has no choice but to rely on Connor's drawings. Meanwhile, Peyton works hard to perfect her designs on her own. She completes them and prepares to pitch them to a new prospective businessman. On the other hand, when the client arrives, Connor presents his drawings. The client takes one look at them and is so disappointed that he walks out on the spot ending their multi-million dollar contract. The client ends up going to a new design firm, led by a super talented designer, none other than the talented Peyton. Peyton and her team impress the client so much that he gives them the new deal on the spot. Peyton's life starts going uphill while Roy's life starts going downhill. Without his client or his design team, he ends up falling behind on his bills and can't keep up. A few months go by, and then Peyton happens to run into her old boss again. And this is the common office area. We know. We used to work here. Oh, great. Then you probably have already seen the executive office right this way. Here it is. Ah, Peyton. I knew you'd be back. You've all come back to beg for your job, I suppose? Uh, no. Actually, we're here to take over this office space. What are you talking about? We're expanding our business. You can't do that. This is my office. Was your office. You haven't paid your rent in months. You could move in as early as next week, if you're interested. It's perfect. We'll take it. Great. I'll get started on the lease right away. But I don't understand. How can you afford all of this? <laughs> well, let's just say... Some jobs require a skirt, not a suit. Hey, Darman fam. So you see, we're not just telling stories, we're changing lives. And when you share my videos, you're helping to change lives too. You really can manifest any life that you desire. And even if you're struggling now, your story is your superpower. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. So, I want you to meet Carson. I just hired him. It's nice to meet you. Um. Gordon, uh, do you mind if I uh, speak to you for a second? Sure. Why is he talking through that thing? Oh, he's nonverbal autistic, but don't worry, he's really smart. Shoot. I gotta get this. Uh, wait. Are you sure about this? I mean, business has really been slow, and having someone here with a disability could make things worse. Oh, don't think of autism as a disability. Think of it as a different ability. That's all. I, sorry, I gotta run. Uh, uh, 
Um, hey, you, uh, we... Uh... What should I work on? Hey, boss, the fryer's not working. Can you come take a look at it? Uh, yeah, sure. Look, just stay out of the way, okay? On work. Okay, so what are we gonna do? We got customers coming in an hour. We need this fryer up and running. Well, I don't know what to do. Look, let me just try to get some help in here. Hey, get away from there before you break it even more. I can fix that. <laughs> Well, if we can't fix it, I highly doubt that you can fix it. <laughs> Who is this? And why does he need that device to talk? Oh, he's... nobody. He won't be working here long. Look, I'm gonna go make some calls and see if I can get this thing fixed. Just don't let him touch anything. There. It's a lot of fun. You wanna give it a try? Yes. Ah, okay. Come here and I will show you how to make a flower. All right, so you just go like this. Yeah. Now you try. Wow, you are a natural. So have you always wanted to work in a restaurant? My dream is to become a manager. Mm. Well, I'm sure you will be in no time. So yeah, right there, just... What are you doing? Oh, well, I am just showing Carson here how to put on icing. Are you trying to ruin our cakes? Give me that. Look what you did. Now this cake is ruined because of you. I'm sorry. It wasn't his fault. Don't you give him another cake. He's just gonna ruin it. How about we give it another try? Yeah, okay. Hello. Hey, uh, we have a group of friends and we're trying to decide where to eat. Can we look at the menu? Wow, that is so cool. Yeah, seriously, what's your name? Carson. You know what, Carson? We don't even need to look at the menu. We'd love to eat here. We'll go get our friends. <laughs> Why are these customers leaving? Did you talk to them on that thing? Yes. Oh, great. No wonder they didn't want to stick around. You know, I told Gordon it was a bad idea hiring you. They said they are getting their friends. They was just being polite. But of course, you can't pick up on that, or anything else for that matter. That's not true. You see, growing up, kids never wanted to play with me. If they only gave me a chance, they'd see that I had a lot to offer. It hurt a lot when they'd exclude me. But if they just took a second, they'd see how capable I was. But what hurts the most was when people would hide me like I was some embarrassment. If they only knew, I'm actually really great with people. So you see, I don't think of it as a disability. I think of it as a different ability. <laughs> oh, come on. Hey, I'm all about supporting people on the spectrum. But we all know that autism is a disability. Is everything okay? No. I told you it wasn't a good idea leaving someone like him here. 
He's almost destroyed our fryer. He's ruined a brand new cake, and he just scared off two customers. We need to let him go immediately. What? Is this true? Hey, good news. The fryer's working. Oh, great. That company I called, come fix it? No, Carson did it. What are you talking about? There's no way he could have fixed it. No, he did. It took him, like, what, five minutes? It's pretty impressive, actually. I've never known anybody as smart as he is. Well, I, uh... I, I don't understand. Uh, hey, tell Gordon how Carson ruined that cake. Ruined the cake? Uh, are you kidding? Take a look at this. Wow. That's beautiful. Carson did it. Not only did he bake the cake, he also did the decor. Honestly, I've never seen anyone learn as quickly as him. He's so creative. Sounds like Carson's doing quite well. No, 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 I'm telling you. Okay, let's ask these cussers. Now, Carson scared them off. Watch. Hey, hey, hey. do you mind telling my boss what happened earlier, how Carson here scared you off? Quit scared us off. What are you talking about? Well, that, that is why you left, isn't it? Oh, no. no. We left to get our friends because of him. Your, your friends? Yeah. Mm-hmm. They're coming. Oh, they beat us. Felix. Oh, yeah. Hey, guys. Oh, guys. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And this is the guy I was telling you all about. Oh, yeah, Carson. Oh, yeah. Carson. Yeah. Hey, Carson. It's nice to meet you. Oh, oh wow. Nice. wow. Nice. wow. Nice. wow. Nice. wow. Nice. I haven't seen the restaurant this busy in months. Yeah. Looks like Carson's got a special gift. Wow. He'd make a great manager. That's not a bad idea. Wait, what? Him the manager? But he's got a disability. I told you, autism is not a disability. Think of it as a different ability. You'll be reporting to Carson right away. This is ridiculous. I can't believe this. Hey, Darman fam. Please remember that we're not just telling stories, we're changing lives. And when you share my content, you're helping to change lives too. I appreciate you watching and I'll see you in the next video. Baby girl, you know my situation. Come mess with me and spike all these blue faces. I'm the real, I'm just Benny, to you. you're supposed to be studying for med school, not wasting your time with this again. I know, Ma. I'm just taking a little break. Honey, we talked about this. Making videos and music is not a safe career. But being a doctor is. That's why you need to be reading these books and sticking to your warehouse job until that happens. But I'm not trying to play it safe, Ma. Hola, Rosa. Benny, hola. Hi, Grandpa. I was worried, Papa. No, muy bien. My back hurts from mowing all those lawns. Shouldn't be working so hard. <laughs> Mija, ¿qué puedo hacer? We barely make enough to even pay the rent. Tengo que trabajar. Anyway, I need to go rest. I feel so bad for him. Then why would you want the same life for me? ¿De qué estás hablando? Grandpa played it safe, right? He's been cutting lawns, working the same egg factory for years. And all that got him is a bad back and no money. That's not the life I want. Well, he didn't have the chance to study like you do. So please don't throw this opportunity away on some silly little dream of yours, Benny. Soy tu mamá. I want the best for you. I know, but I'm telling you, I can make it as a rapper on YouTube. Right? Just check out my lyrics. <clears throat> baby girl, you know my What baby girl are you talking about? You're never going to get a girl without a safe job. That's not true. My dream girl, Alondra Desi, she's also a YouTuber. Look. And one day, 
When I blow up, she's gonna be my girl. Just watch. It's never gonna happen, mijo. And I don't wanna talk about this anymore. What are you doing? I need that. What you need is to be studying. And aren't you gonna be late for work? Ya casi son las doce. I can't wait to quit this job. Hey man, tell me about it. But at least you're going to med school soon and doing something you love. More than I can say. Nah, man. That's not what I want to do. If I had a choice, I'd make videos, I'd make music. Here, check this out. Don't mind the quality. I don't have a real camera yet. Baby girl, you know my situation. Come mess with me and stack all these blue faces. Dang, man, that's hard! Bro, man, I say you forget everything else and focus on this. I wish. But what about this job? What about med school? Look, man, all I'm saying is if I was as talented as you, I'd quit right now. Seriously. You really think I What's can't? going on here? Nothing. We were just... Slacking off. Now that's what you're doing. Sorry, boss. I was just showing Mike some music I made. Well, that'd be fine if you were a musician. But you're not. You're just a stock boy. So unless you want to get fired, I suggest you put that phone away and get back to work. You're right. I'm sorry. There. Good. Don't let me catch you wasting time again. I wasn't wasting time. What did you say? I said I wasn't wasting time. Making music is my dream. Look, since you're just a kid, I'll give you some advice. Don't waste your time chasing silly dreams. Now what you should be doing is stocking these shelves and playing it safe. What is it with everybody telling me to play it safe? Nobody ever accomplished anything great by playing it safe. I'm getting sick and tired of you talking back to me. Well, since you want to be a musician so bad, then maybe I should do you a favor and fire you right now. Actually? That won't be necessary, because I quit. I'm gonna start a YouTube channel, and I'm gonna make it big in music. You'll see. <laughs> yeah, right. The only thing you'll ever be is a big failure. Are you really serious about this? If you keep walking away from me, it's over. Do you hear me, Benny? Benny quits his job and doesn't look back. He's never been so determined to chase after his dream. He goes straight to a store to buy a camera. When he realizes he's about to spend his very last dollar on equipment, he hesitates for a second. But then he remembers that he'll never accomplish anything great by playing it safe. So he buys it anyway. He starts vlogging and creates all kinds of content. He does some comedy, some lifestyle, and of course, his personal favorite, music. After shooting each vlog, Benny goes home to upload them onto YouTube. He does this day after day, so excited about his channel. But every time he uploads, he quickly realizes that he's not getting any views. After months of trying and failing, he starts thinking that his mom and his former boss were right. So he decides to give up on his dream. Hi, uh, I'd like to return this. Okay, w was there anything wrong with it? Not really. I just realized I don't need it. All right, no problem. Benny? What are you doing here? Um, oh, I see. Guess that big idea didn't work out after all, huh? Yeah, I guess not. What is that you said again before you walked out? Uh, yeah, that's right, you said. I'm going to make my own YouTube channel and become big in music. You'll see. 
Well, guess this is me seeing, right? What do you want from me? To tell you you were right? Fine, you were right. Happy? Look, you seem like a good kid. I, I wasn't trying to make you feel bad. I was just trying to get you to be realistic. Yeah, I'll tell you what. You can come back and stock shelves for me. What do you say? Trust me, kid. You should play it safe. You're right. Thanks. That's more like it. Call me when you're ready to come back to work. Hey, Jerry, is my phone ready yet? Uh, give me five minutes mm -hmm. and they should be ready. And here's your refund. Thanks. Yeah, you're welcome. Hey, can I ask you something? Aren't you Benny from YouTube? Yeah. Why? Oh my gosh. I thought I recognized you. My family and I love your blogs. We, we watch them all the time. Really? No way. Yeah. Please don't tell me that you returned this camera because you're going to stop making videos. Yeah. Didn't really work out in the end. I hardly had any views or new subs. Better off playing it safe. What? No. No, you shouldn't give up. I mean, you, you might not have a lot of views now, but that doesn't mean you won't later on. I'm telling you, your content is amazing. You just have to keep going. You really think so? I know so. And besides, nobody ever accomplished anything great by playing it safe. Am I right? Right. I can't believe I almost forgot that. You know what? Go ahead and give me the camera back. I'm gonna keep vlogging. That makes me so happy to hear. Thank you. Banny regains his confidence to keep making content. His videos start to get better and better, and his views kept going higher and higher. As time goes on, he ends up gaining over a million subscribers on YouTube, with some of his music videos even getting over 10 million views. Eventually, he even meets his dream girl. And then one day, he goes to pay his mom a visit. <gasps> Benny! Oh, it's so good to see you, mijo. Ever since you moved out, you hardly come home. I know, I'm sorry, mom. I've just been super busy lately, but I have someone to introduce to you. Who? Hi, Mrs. Sullivan. It's so nice to meet you. Oh, it's nice to meet you, too. Wait, is she? This is the girl I was telling you about. Alondra, she's my girl now, and soon to be baby mama. I can't believe it. I'm gonna be a grandma. Oh my God, soy tan feliz. Come in, come in. ¿Qué pasó? ¿Quién es? Es Benny. He's become quite famous now. And he brought his novia, Alondra. They're gonna have a baby together. ¿Qué? No lo puedo creer. You know what? I love to stay and talk, but I don't get to trabajar. Actually, Grandpa, you don't need to work anymore. Here. This is for you. This is part of me? Yeah. You don't need to break your back on mowing lawns anymore. And there's more coming, too. Muchas gracias, Benny. I don't know what to say, mijo. I'm so proud of you, Benny. And I guess you were right. No one ever accomplished anything great by playing it safe. Thanks, Mom. Do you like enchiladas? Yes, and the baby does too. Great, I'll make some. I want to know everything. Of course. How you met, how far along yes. you are. Baby girl. You know my situation. Cook up for me and stack all these blue faces. On the real, these are.
Hey, Dara Man fam, please remember that we're not just telling stories, we're changing lives. And when you share my content, you're helping to change lives too. I appreciate you watching and I'll see you in the next video. Mr. Weston, I'm Scarlett. It's truly an honor to meet you, sir. I'm such a huge fan of your films. Scarlett, when I first saw your photos, I thought to myself, I am gonna make that girl a star. Really? Oh, it's always been my dream to be a movie star, Mr. Weston. Oh, please, it's Harry. No formalities here. It's just you and me. Now, uh, let me take that coat from you. Oh, thank you. Uh, allow me. Um, please, have a seat. Make yourself at home. You know, six months ago, nobody even knew who she was. But after reading me, she's on the cover of a magazine. That's how fast I can make things happen. Really? Wow. That is so exciting. You know, I've been trying to figure out who I'm going to cast as the new lead female in my next movie. Quite honestly, you kind of got the look I'm going for. Do you mind reading a few lines for me? Sure, I'd love to. Oh, wait, before you start. Helps take the edge off. I don't really like to drink while I'm working. Thank you. Wow. You're gonna turn me down? That is not a good way to get a part in one of my movies. I'm sorry. You're right. Okay, here I go. See, you see, you should never judge a book by its cover, because... Um, let's actually start with the last scene. Um, start with the line, Richard, I will never forget you. Okay, sure. Richard, I'll never forget you. Thank you for teaching me what it feels like to love again. And then the kiss. Well, don't just say it, act it out. Well, I need another actor for that. <laughs> it's okay. Um, you can use me. <clears throat> okay, go ahead. I thought you wanted to be a star. I do. I've studied acting practically my entire life. I know that I'll be really good in this role. In this business, it's not about what you know. It's about who you know. Okay, I happen to be one of the most powerful people in Hollywood. Do you understand me? <sighs> okay. Oh gosh. Okay, I have to take this call. Look, why don't you just come back tomorrow night, read with all the other actors, okay? We'll do a table read. This time, do what you're told. Hey, Karen. <laughs> oh, of course I remember you. When I saw your photos, I thought to myself, I ain't gonna make this girl a star. Hey. Oh, hey, girl. Congrats, 
So tell me, how did he go with Harry Weston? Good. I guess. Hey. What's up? Is everything okay? No. He got really touchy and made me feel really uncomfortable. But I don't know, maybe I'm overreacting. I mean, every Hollywood actress has to deal with this, right? What? No. That's not okay. He has no right to treat you that way. But I don't know what else to do. He decides who gets cast in his new movie. Listen to me. You are one of the best actresses that I know. You don't have to put up with that. Yeah, but in this business, it's not what you know, it's who you know. He could be my only chance at becoming a star. You don't need him to become a star. What is that line you used to say from your favorite producer, Darman? The only person that decides how successful you'll be is you. Thanks, Remy. At least the other actors will be at the table read tomorrow, so it can't be that bad. <laughs> Scarlett, you're just in time. Come on in. Wait. Where's everyone? Oh, don't worry about the other actors. They're not important. What is important is this contract. It's to play the lead actress in my new film. <laughs> Does this mean I have the role? Almost. Uh, in order to get this contract, you just gotta do exactly what I say. You understand? Oh, I'm sorry, no. I just don't feel comfortable. I, I thought you wanted me for my acting abilities, not anything else. Scarlett, I thought I told you in this business, it is not about what you know. It is about who you know. Okay? You need me to become a star. So what's it gonna be? The only person that decides how successful you'll be is you. You're wrong, Harry. You may think I need you to become a star, but I can be successful on my own, with or without you. <laughs> you just made a huge mistake. Your acting career is over. You will never make it in this town without me, Scarlett. Oh yeah? Watch me. I'm sorry, I don't mean to be nosy, but is everything okay? Yeah. I just had this horrible experience with this movie producer who tried to take advantage of me. Wait, are, are you Dar man? Oh my god, I'm one of your biggest fans. I watch all of your movies. Oh my gosh, thank you so much, but I can't believe that that just happened to you. I'm so sorry. Thanks. I just thought meeting this producer was gonna be my big break, but... Maybe I'm just not meant to be a successful actress. Hey, there's only one person that gets to decide if you become successful or not. Do you know who that person is? Me? Exactly. And ironically enough, I'm actually looking for an actress to star in my next film. <sighs> so if you're interested, here's my card. Shoot me an email sometime. Really? 
my god, I would love to. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome. I hope you feel better. OMG! You're Scarlett Jones. I cannot believe it's really you. I'm like your biggest fan ever. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Do you mind if I get your autograph? Sure, no problem. Oh, awesome. Yes. <laughs> well, well, well. If it isn't Scarlett Jones. I must say I'm impressed. You're the talk of the town. Hi, Harry. I got it. Could you make it out to Michelle, please? Okay, there you oh, go. That's awesome. <laughs> Thank you so much. My friends are totally going to freak. Thank you. Well, look at that. You've been on the front cover of a magazine. So how'd you do it? Which big shot did you have to sleep with? You know what, Harry? You may think women need some big shot like you to become successful. But you're wrong. Because all I needed was myself. One day you'll realize your mistakes. But by that time, it'll be too late. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, are you serious? Harry Can Weston? I yeah. Can I help you? FBI. You're under arrest for harassment. What? Do you know who I am? Oh, yeah. I know exactly who you are. You can't do this. Let's go. Hey, Darman fam. I hope you love that message. Please remember, we're not just telling stories, we're changing lives. And when you share my videos, you're helping to change lives too. I appreciate you, and I'll see you in the next video.